Digital Monuments is a book that radically explores the iconic architecture of the new millennium and its hijacking of the public imagination via digital rendering. According to the author of the book, Simon Brott, modern iconic monuments push physics and engineering to their limits, flickering eerily between the real and the unreal, invoking fantasies of, of immortality and utopian cities. But this experience of iconic architecture as a digital dream on the ground conceals from the urban spectator the social reality of the buildings and the rigidity of their ideology. Iconic architecture is a term coined by the author and in this video we will be explaining the term and what the author meant. Before we begin this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any future updates. Speaking of renders, we would like to mention that this video is supported by Vivify, a modern 3D visualization studio that offers quality and budget-friendly services. Check the finalized visualization by clicking the link in the description and if you are an interior designer or an architect, tell them that you are from our site to get a 20% off on your first project. And now, let us investigate. So what is iconic architecture? Iconic architecture usually refers to the monumental projects that surpassed their time and marked their place in history as mega designs that still stand even after their designers and views have long passed. Projects such as the Eiffel Tower, Sydney's Opera House and others. Brod says that today's iconic architecture is the international trend of using digital technologies, imagery and manufacturing to create virtual images and holographic-like real buildings that are detached from reality and from the city. Buildings that compete to fascinate the masses through the use of radical designs presented in the renderings years before the realization. Buildings such as Ram Kulha's CCTV headquarters in Beijing, Zaha Hadid's Performing Arts Center in Abu Dhabi, Frank Gehry's Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. What these buildings all have in common is that they derive their power from the hypnotic authority of the digital image actualized on the ground to the urban spectator like a hologram. The building is both real and unreal. The images created to advertise these icons tries to narrow the gap between what is real and what is virtual, creating a science fictional architecture. This type of architecture is used by the project benefactors such as the government, the investors and the architects for political or personal reasons rather than the benefit of the general public. It is a rapid urge to generate radical buildings and structures that are publicly funded and debt fueled with the aim of having spectacular megastructures. What is the aim of iconic architecture? Well, according to the author, while these projects seem like a miraculous attempt to disobey the laws of physics, in reality, this is just a cover-up illusion from the reality. Iconic projects are architectural tools to solve cities a rich class financial problems. Frank Gehry's Guggenheim project in Belbo was announced as a radical new aesthetic which was only feasible through the use of advanced digital softwares. A process that Gehry has pioneered from the start. Buildings like the Guggenheim are designed with the aim of converting debt into capital by using the impact of digital means to create exposure for the newly created asset. The project is actually featured in a lot of movies, series and ads. The author went on also to mention a similar pattern happening in the mega city projects in the Middle East and the former Soviet Union countries, where iconic buildings are serving transactional capitalist elites pushing out the global core for such projects. Projects that are built by the rich for the rich with the labor of the poor. Now that we have reached the end of today's video, we would like to thank you for making it this far. If you like the concept of digital monuments, 
and would like to know more about it, you can grab this book. We highly recommend it. You can find the link down in the description. Make sure to subscribe to know more about monumental concepts and architecture in general. We want to thank Vivify for supporting us in this video and we will see you in the next one.